Samsung um, tablet, but it's a reference design. And it's, I think Samsung built it to sort of show off um, the concept of big dot little computing, which is something we're going to hear more about. Um, and I've got Ian here from Arm. Who's going to explain explain it to us? Hello, Ian. So, um, big dot little. This is the Samsung Octa. How does it how does it all work? Okay. So, uh, what the demonstration is going to go through is showing you some different use cases. Um, so here we have map navigation. And what you will see here on the on the left hand side is it's showing you the core activity. Uh, and these are CPU matched. So it will either be an A7 or an A15 uh, across the four to the four configuration. And then on the left hand on the right hand side. It's, uh, it's showing you how much energy um, that the system is using at that point in time. So up to maximum to 100%. So the more complex the task, you know, the more grip you need on the system. You run the A15, so a bit of power. But then it's nearly like video playback, which is essentially you know, a little bit of control work. Most of this being done by a video processor. It's very, very low power. Then it goes, drops down to 25%. Map navigation, again, as you, as you do sort of like zoom, you need a little bit more power. The A15 kicks in for a second, goes high power. But then once that information is in there, it will drop back down to the A7. And again, you know, rendering a web page takes a bit of power. So it just, the A15, it's a bit of grunt, but then as soon as you start scrolling all the pages loaded, it drops back down to the A7. And this is where the power saving comes in with the So we have, I mean, there are devices out there now with four A7, you know, quad four A7. Yeah. There are devices based on the A15, but this is about having the best of both worlds, four of each type, and then the device switches, hot switches, you know, between each, between each type. Now, roughly, how much more um, power does it want, does it take to run the, the A15s versus the A7s? Just in terms of, you know, so it's roughly about, you know, at the same frequency and everything else, it's about twice the power uh, for an APN as opposed to an somewhere around that point. So we're seeing in typical use cases where you have big little in a configuration where on average you're saving somewhere between 50 to 70% of the energy. I don't think I'm going to